Hello everyone, Amy R. here with Prairie Paper and Ink. And for today's card, I pulled out an oldie but goodie stamp set from Honey Bee. This is the little pickup stamp set. This is one of the more original sets that was released quite some time ago. Still a favorite of mine though and still available. So I pulled out some Distress watercolor paper and I have it in my stamp platform with the smooth side facing up. And I am inking up these stamps with Versafine Onyx Black Ink. And then I'm going to clear heat emboss these just to keep the colors from like running, even though I'm not actually using many colors at all. But one, I like the look of the clear heat embossing. It just gives it, you know, that shiny finish. And two, I don't have to be as neat. And as usual, I get ink all over my hands. I mentioned this in several of my videos. I have a love-hate relation with Versafine. I love Versafine Onyx Black Ink. I almost every single time I use it, get it on my hands. And I, I wipe it off immediately just because it can take a long time to dry, and especially on my hands. If you're not, um, you know, observant of that, you can transfer that ink to your project when you're not looking. Ask me how I know this. <laughs> so anywho. Um, stamp the image, stamp the truck, stamp the little pile of pumpkins and the individual pumpkin. And I end up stamping the individual pumpkin a few more times and clear heat embossing that. And I'm just using my Arteza real brush pens and my little Tim Holtz detail water brush to color these in. Like I said, really simple coloring. I'm using like one orange and then kind of a little bit of an orangey red just to deepen it a little bit for the pumpkins. And then I just use a brown for all the stems. And then for the truck itself, I'm going to use a black um, real brush pen. And while I was doing the coloring, I was actually kind of liking how um, I used a little bit too much water and it started to create a bit of a bloom. And that's when like the water just kind of spreads and it starts pushing out the color. And a lot of times that is not a desirable effect. But for this, I was actually kind of liking it. I was at first I was trying to avoid it. I was, you know, trying to keep the color really smooth. But then I was like, this is supposed to be, you know, a vintage truck. This looks like how it would look. <laughs> so I kind of ended up adding a little more water than I normally would and just kind of like scribbling the color on, adding a little bit more water and just kind of getting this variation in color. And I just I really love how it turned out. So um, did the whole truck with just this one marker. In some areas, I just used it lighter. Um, this this is definitely one of those colors because it's a black and it's fairly a saturated color in my opinion. It just kind of wants to travel. So there's still color on the water brush. So I use that to fill in the wheel wells and to fill in the hubcaps and then the um, and then the, the windshield and the mirrors and whatnot because um, the color was still on there. So rather than wipe off my brush, I just use that. So that's how I got all the variation with that one marker. So I did that, let it dry, die cut it with the coordinating dies, and then I just set that aside. For part of my sentiment, I'm using the newer, this is the Be Bold Alphabet wafer die set, and I just die cut some orange cardstock to spell out the word happy. And for my top layer, I just decided to sponge some carved pumpkin distress ink just along the bottom, just kind of deepen it. It just, you know, finishes it off a little bit more, gives it a little bit more depth. So I did that to that layer. And then while I still had my ink blending tool out with this foam for this ink, I pulled out my card base and the Ray stencil from the Ocean Scene stencil set. This is actually one of my favorite stencils. So I decided to put that kind of on an angle and I do not add any more ink to my blending foam. This is something when people do ask me like, well, do you wash the foams between like, or do you recommend it? No. I recommend like building up your collection of foams, especially with distress, specifically with distress inks, um, building up foams and keeping a foam per color. It makes a huge difference as time goes on, as the foam becomes more saturated with the ink, you can do things like this. You get a much smoother blend um, because sometimes, you, you know, when you're really struggling and getting a lot of streaks, really load up your foam with ink and, you know, blend it onto things, onto scratch paper, because once it becomes saturated, like you get effects like this where I did not add any more ink to the foam. I'm literally just rubbing it onto the cardstock through the stencil and I get this perfect smooth faded blend. So that's what I recommend. I never wash my blending sponges for my distress inks. I have separate ones for my oxide inks and then I have other foams I use for other various dye inks and whatnot. And I don't often like mix and match them unless it's like 
say similar blue dye inks or whatever. But with my distress inks, I have a foam for every single color. With my oxide inks, I have a foam for every single color. And I just find it's totally worth the extra little bit of investment because you can get a pack of foams, you know, for a decent amount of money. So anyhow, that's my little bit about foams. Back to the card. <laughs> I stacked those letter die cuts. I only just did two layers just to give it a little bit of dimension. And then I'm kind of lining things up in my stamp platform again. And I pulled out the Hey Pumpkin stamp set. This was from last year's release. And the sentiments were perfect for this. So I'm going to stamp the Hey Pumpkin sentiment with that VersaFine onto my card base here. And then I'm going to start adhering all of my elements. And I, oh, I also um, heat emboss a sentiment onto some black cardstock. Just the Halloween word from that same Hey Pumpkin stamp set. So I just used my anti-static powder tool. I'm going to stamp that sentiment with a Versamark ink onto the black cardstock. And then I'm just going to heat emboss that with some um, tonic white embossing powder and then melt that with my heat tool. And then I'm just going to die cut it with the coordinating die that goes with the stamp set. So that's going to be all nicely trimmed out with very little effort from me. <laughs> so I'm going to trim that out and then I'm going to start adhering all these elements to my card front. So for the letters, I had already kind of laid out the, when I first die cut the letters before I sponge them, I'd kind of laid them out to see how they would fit across my card. And this word just happens to fit perfectly with the size of letters. So I just start with the outer letters first. So the Y and then the H. And then I'm kind of like figuring out where I'm just going to like adhere everything else. Like my mind's, you know, jumping around 50 places at once. So I start with the outer letters and then I'm going to um, adhere the very middle letter, the one um, P. And then once those are adhered, it's easier to kind of line up the other two in between there. So things are fairly evenly spaced. Um, although if, you know, you really struggle with spacing, do them all wonky. Why not have them all in different, like, you know, slightly tilted and whatnot, just especially with Halloween, you can kind of get away with, you know, being a little crazy, being a little wonky, things not being perfect. So with the truck, I was going to cut off the front end of it. You know, that would look fine. You still could, especially if you want to fit it in an envelope, but I couldn't do it. <laughs> I really couldn't do it. So I just left it hanging off the edge. But if you were to put this either in an A2 envelope, you'd either have to cut it off or put it in a larger envelope since it is hanging off the edge of the card. But it would look good just cutting it off. I just, I really didn't want, I really liked how this truck turned out. <laughs> So I adhered it into place. I adhered a little pile of pumpkins and the Halloween sentiment and then a couple of the little freestanding pumpkins. And then on the inside of the card, I built up a sentiment from stamps in that Hey Pumpkin stamp set. And I'm stamping um, a portion of them with that same VersaFine Onyx Black ink. And then the word best, I'm going to ink up with that carved pumpkin distressing. So the inside says wishing you the best day. And then I had three of these little pumpkins left over from um, all, all the coloring I did at the beginning. So I'm just going to adhere two of them to the inside of the card. And I decided to adhere the final one just along the along the bottom of the card, just as a you know fun finishing little um, embellishment. And that's going to finish off today's card. So as always, I will have links below the video to the blog post, links to all the supplies you used, etc. So you can check that out below if you are interested. Thank you all so much for watching and subscribing and thumbs upping and commenting on the videos. I really appreciate it. I will see you all very soon in the next one. Bye.